pitches, he has really good control, but absolutely no velocity. Okay. So, it's all control first. Hey, everybody. All right. Get ready for Landmark Live with the legendary Royals PA announcer, Mike McCartney. He is currently in-house already. He's reading a bedtime story to Chris Candler at the moment. <laughs> it's already started. Oh, boy. For the first time ever, you guys, we have... We have a live studio audience, kind of, sort of, the first time ever that we've invited folks down here. Uh, we also have a, a first, and then we have two paid sponsors that wanted to jump at the opportunity to sponsor the docile tones of Mike McCartney. Did it show up on yours yet, Mike? Mm -hmm. I don't promise tagging you on it. I see you're watching Chris. Yeah, I just turned it off. But Did you get it shared? <clears throat> yeah, I got it shared. We need to tag Mike in it. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Yeah, yeah. folks yeah. out there watching, hit like or comment so we know you're out there because we're going to play games for fabulous prizes when we get ready to play some Royals trivia concert tickets to give away tonight. So check in so we know you're out there. I hit that start or does that go by itself? Uh, you should punch that again. There you go. Yeah, you can. You ready? As long as you share it, you can change off of it. You don't have to have it run. Yeah, sure. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for watching. Here we are, another Landmark Live. Ivan Foley, Chris Kamler, and our special guest tonight. The legendary Mike McCartney, your Kansas City Royals PA announcer. How Don't about that? Don't we have to like do PA announcing when we announce him? Isn't that how it works? Well, he, he's been walking around with his PA voice the whole time. Oh, the whole time, yeah. yeah. The whole time there. <laughs> Can you record like Mike? Could you do like my voicemail message? Would you do that in, in like your? I'm sure you never asked that at all. Yeah, yeah. No, I do that all the time. You should charge yeah. for that. Well, I, I, but you know, the the billing on it, the invoicing, I couldn't. Handle. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. book work. So I do it for free. Stand. If you want to, I'll do it. Stop. So me. if you do it like Mike Moostock, as you would do Mike McCartney. There you go. I got it. Yeah, very nice. That's We're awesome. Learning. I mean, if you're sick one night, I mean, just give me a call. Sure, I'll, I'll take care for you. Yeah, what's your number again? <laughs> uh, I, just, I, don't yeah, I, got I mean, you, you know, it's right. well, sure. I'm sure you'll find me. Got Guys, <laughs> check in, hit like or comment because we've got some great prizes. We're going to play a little bit later. We got some Royals trivia. Chris and Mike are going to try to answer the questions and win prizes for you. Those prizes include tickets to Three Dog Night. How about that? And a bunch of other good stuff. Live studio audience tonight, somewhat yeah. live. Gary Pixler's in the audience. He is somewhat live. Gary has has won a prize or two during the show since you were like on board for the first show way back in September. I think you oh, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've also got Jennifer Bruner who will be. I think Jennifer's going to be helping us out when we uh, broadcast at the Royals opening day. And she's helping up, us out by bartending. Yeah. Is that, is that word? <laughs> what is going on there? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, 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 yeah. And she's actually going to help us during our uh, bracket show here in a couple of weeks. Oh, nice. Yeah. We also have uh, Beth Ann from Beth Ann's Boutique, one of our live studio audience members. Hi. The Boutique is helping sponsor tonight. And I'll tell you what, so that's that's kind of our live and, and studio. And we're, we're, we're oh, donning yeah. uh, Boutique wear, right? It's part of the fun oh. tonight. Yeah, Beth Ann has a new men's section over at her boutique, and she... Uh, Threw these T-shirts at Chris and I and said, "Hey, slap these I like on." This. That's good. And so we did. It makes me look better. Yeah, not yeah, much, so. but I mean a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he looks good to start with. So uh, keep Ooh. drinking. It's slimming. It's, it's slimming. <laughs> it's, it's slimming. slimming. It's, well, they haven't made that shirt yet. <laughs> All tried. right, two sponsors tonight, you guys. So I need to get started right away by telling you that Beth Ann of Beth Ann's Boutique handpicks fashion and accessories for women sizes XS to 3X. Girls, infant to size 12, and now gifts for men size 3, I'm sorry, size small to 3X. Check out our t-shirts because we all deserve to strut our stuff and give ourselves and those we love a gift as fabulous as we are. And hey, special promo, visit the boutique March 1 through March 3rd, that's through Saturday, with promo Landmark for 20% off your purchase. 
Beth Ann's Boutique, 235 Main Street in Platte City, 816-895-2288. Just mention Ivan or me. and Yeah, mention if Landmark. Not, if you're not kicked out, you'll, you'll get be no, fine. Yeah, get no <laughs> landmark, Landmark Life. In fact, Cindy from our staff has already taken advantage of that. She got 20% off a fine purse that she purchased there right before the show. So tell them Landmark, and you're going to get 20% off. And our other sponsor tonight is a friend of Mike McCartney's, in fact, I my just found Todd. out. Yeah, yeah. He's Todd DeMint. my pal. Todd DeMint of Myers Funeral Chapel. Myers Funeral Chapel Northland is located in historic downtown Parkville. It is one of the only family-owned and operated funeral homes in the Northland area. Myers Funeral Chapel is dedicated to excellence in service with the utmost integrity. The chapel has been completely renovated to create an open-concept funeral home. For, for more info, call 816-741-0251 or check out their website at MyersFuneralChapel.com backslash Northland. Todd took very good care of me here in the last few months, and I really appreciate that. And yeah. he's good good he's people. A very good guy. Very awesome. nice guy. A good bunch down there yeah. Myers. Yep. Hey, Mike. Well, welcome to the show, Thank my you. friend. Thanks for having me. Tell you here. what, we are so happy that you joined yeah. us. Glad you know, we tried to get you earlier. We got weathered out one yep. time, but now we are ready to rock and roll. Yeah. It's actually about time to... To get rolling, and you know, when do you start getting your voice into like regular season mode? You're kind well, of in spring training mode. And I'm, I've been doing basketball for the UMKC basketball. I, we just finished our home schedule. They're gonna, their tournament. So I'm done with UMKC, but I'll do the Big Twelve tournament next week, and uh, then be, the week after that, the NAIA tournament, and uh, and then it's once once that's over, I think that championships on the twentieth. Like same week, yeah. Well, I think the next week after yeah. that, and then we do uh, uh, some. Rehearsals and that type of thing, kind of get-togethers and stuff like that out of the ballpark before the uh, first game. And uh, by the time it's uh, March 29th, man, it's we're hitting the ground running. You're yeah. rolling. What what kind of extra stuff do the Royals have you do other than just the standard game day stuff? I mean, you, you're on the commercials, and you know they don't do as much as that anymore as yeah. I used to. I used to handle a lot of the radio network uh, production and some of the voiceover for that, but that's done now. By the different groups, so uh, whenever they ask me to do stuff, I you know, hey, could you read this? Could you voice this? And uh, I'm happy. All I know is I was at a gas station or something a couple weeks ago, and your voice came out of the thing. I was like, what the hell? Why? Why is why is <laughs> Mike getting his so gas pump? What's going on? To get a Milky Way. <laughs> It's like, well, Mike told me to get a Milky Way, so I better go ahead and get a Milky Way. No, it's just one of the things you get to do, you know. That's right. Yeah. So all that uh, all that whiskey and cigarettes that's finally right. paying off for you. Paying off, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a non-smoker, by the way. Yes, just, absolutely. It's you know, because cool everybody kids. thinks because your voice kind of has that raspy sound, to everybody thinks you're a smoker, don't they? Well, and I was at one time. Okay. It's okay. Probably in a bit a pretty heavy one mm-hmm. for that fact. I mean, it's you know three packs a day habit and. Uh, just got to be the point where, you know, I couldn't now, you know, the whiskey part, <laughs> okay, you know, but, yeah, 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 hey, yeah. but, uh, no. can't, can't give up all the vices yeah, all at yeah, once, no, I mean, that's, just, that's unhealthy, yeah. you can't do that. Quit smoking, 10 years yeah, later, decide absolutely. what you're yeah, going to yeah, do, yeah. You know? down the road, it's yeah. fine, so. <laughs> how, how many years you been doing this Royals game? Gosh, I think this is going to start my 21st. No kidding. Wow. Uh, now, there was, I go back and, um. There were three of those years that I was doing it as a backup announcer to Dan Hurst, and then uh, then I went full time, and I was out for two years, and uh, came back in two thousand four. And uh, the yes. the game day experience over that twenty years, I mean, oh. you walk in you walk in the booth that 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 you're in now, and it's it's like the inside of the space shuttle. It's got yeah. monitors and. And everything, and and you know what was it like twenty years ago? Was it was a microphone? <laughs> it was, that was pretty <laughs> and much it. And a guy it. It running the scoreboard. That's wasn't pretty it? much it. Yeah. One guy flipped the switch in the fountains, you know. Uh, and that's right. We had a crew when I first started there. Maybe because we had that old, the old jumbotron, mm-hmm. which the, was, the the elements kept going out on it, so they had to. They they didn't just, Sony didn't wouldn't sell us the parts anymore. They didn't make them. <laughs> So we kept having to take parts out of it, so it kind of nobody really noticed, but it kept kind of getting smaller and smaller mm-hmm. until we finally, I think they finally tipped it over when we got the new one. But uh, uh, there was probably on our crew, we had an organist then too, and so including him, maybe seven or eight. And now I think we're with camera men now, and I won't count the K crew and the, but probably just scoreboard room personnel 
camera, man. Probably twenty in the game. Yeah, that, that's wow. a full yeah. room during yeah. during a Royals game. You look Absolutely. up and they're just to the left of the. You guys are just to the. Yeah, first when you look side, up, they're just the first base side of all the TV the end, yeah. guys and stuff. And I mean, it's a it's a hell of a show, and it's right. and and I would imagine that the the reads that you have to do during a game have increased as well. I mean, well, some of them are still the originals that I've done. They, they just haven't changed them, you know, but. And it just kind of depends. Some of them have, but you know, for the most part, they're all pretty much the same. But there's there's more of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, comes with sales too. When you sure. win, people want to, you know, they want to advertise, and so, so try to get as much as you can. It's a hell of a show. Yeah. Man. Now, how many PA announcers have the Royals had throughout the years? Do you know? That, you know, yes. And the original PA announcer was a fellow by the name of Jack Layton. Mm -hmm. And everybody remembers Jack Layton. And uh, Handsome Jack, they call him. He's a radio guy here in town. And uh, uh, he actually did a couple years with the A's. And then when the Royals, he started working for the Royals, mm -hmm. and he went through. And he worked, I think I have the time I write on this, but he worked. His last game that he announced was Game 7 of the 85 World Series. And he died. He had cancer. I believe it was brain cancer. And he died. The same day Dick Hauser died. Oh my! Yeah, God. and so it was. <laughs> yeah, so it was kind of this big news. Oh my and goodness! Old, and, Jack so died too. Uh, and so yeah, so it was kind of the same day or within that day or two, right in that same. And that was within like six months of the World yeah. Series. Yeah, right? well, yeah. that was right because it was an all all star game. All -Star, no, the all star it. game was when Hauser, and then he, he, it was several yeah, months later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so they both had cancer, and then the guy beyond that was, and you may remember him, and folks may remember him from. He was on Channel 5, and he was sort of a staff announcer for, uh, it was KCMO TV at the time. And, uh, oh, that is Hugh, um, ah, I can't remember his name now, Hugh, uh, he was just a great, and he used to do the uh, Friday night, to do, watch the Friday Night Frights movie. Friday Night <laughs> Frights, yeah. <laughs> and he'd do that deal, he'd announce that, and he just had a beautiful voice, and he did it for just a couple of years. And then, and my timeline may be wrong, but Dan Hurst came along. Dan was spent years in Kansas City Radio, and he's a voiceover guy here in town. And uh, Dan did it for several years and then left, and then a fellow by the name of Jim Moore came in. Yeah, remember Jim Moore. Jim Moore, or Jim Moore came in, and that's how I ended up getting the job through Jim, because Jim and I were buddies, and he he was going to leave to spend time with his grandchildren, his new grandchildren. This was in the... 90s and mid 90s maybe and so I applied for the job and I auditioned for it and they came back and they said well, we're going to hire Dan Hurst back he wants a job back I was like ah great okay fine you know so uh, then they came back to me a few months later and they said would you be Dan's backup because Dan did a lot of missionary work in Guatemala and, and uh, South America so he'd take time off during mm -hmm. the summer and I'd go fill in for him and it's up again so and then Chuck Morgan was the one guy that actually got fired from the Royals. I remember that. In 2000, in the 2001 season, when uh, we brought in a new marketing director, and he was just like, and he came from the Texas Rangers, and he just came in, Mike, you're fired, and didn't quite do it that way. I don't want to have time for the whole story, but uh, so he brought in their, their PA announcer from Texas who'd been there for 20-some years or something. So he came in and did it for a year and said, no, nah, I'm out. And uh, So they went one year, and they used, I think, Dan Hurst, and I came back in 2004, and I've been there since. Dan's voice, I'm pretty sure, is when you're waiting for your baggage at KCI, is, is that Dan or is used that to be, you? No, 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 it's not me. That used to be Drew Dimmel, yeah. who recently passed away. Okay. And Drew Maybe. was at Channel 9 for years and did some, did some, weather, there, did some weather there, and he was a booth announcer there as well. And uh, uh, now I think the person who does it is Kathy Quinn, I believe, at Channel yeah. 4. Oh, okay. God, really? Right? Yeah, yeah, Kathy does it. She's got go. a beautiful voice, and she's a wonderful And your lady. career really started in, 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 you did some radio before voice work, right? Oh, yeah, I started yeah. in radio in uh, Pittsburgh, Kansas. KKOW Radio. Nice. Big cow country, big 86, <laughs> yeah. Big AM Country music, signal, farm reports, hogs and frogs, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you, when did you work in Kansas City radio? Did you work with Jim Moore on the radio? I did. Point? Jim okay. was, uh, I was at KCMO uh, FM, KCMO FM, and um, Jim at the time was working at KUDL, might have been KLTH, I think it was KUDL. Uh, so, we were kind of, we were one of the big 
first conglomerate stations in. So it was KMBZ, KCMO, AM and FM, and KLTH later became 99.7 KY. And then I worked at WHB for three years, uh, 2002 to 2005. That was the old WHB that was... This the, was sports radio. This was the new sport, WHB. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the for current... Kevin yeah. and those guys? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I did that for several years, and... Uh, Great bunch of guys, still good mm-hmm. friends. Yeah. yeah. Now I was a big fan of Jim Moore. He was he was a longtime radio guy. In That's Kansas right. City. Yeah. Now in the seventies, he did like a morning show. Uh, he was on the old WHB. Okay. Yeah. He's, and and he, he, he did something with Bill Grigsby. He and Grigsby for a while had a morning I, show. Well, they did something on KCMO. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it was KCMO yeah. where I remember uh, Jim Moore and Grigsby, and yeah. they would they would. And I think Grigsby just started out giving sports updates, mm-hmm. but he and Jim had such a good you know working relationship that. They liked the way they sounded together on the air. They started doing the morning show together, yeah. the whole, and they would laugh. They would get so tickled at themselves. I would just tune in to hear them. I would just tune in to hear them laugh at themselves. It was awesome because they would do like these. Of course, it's radio. It's theater of the mind anyway. So they're doing like these puppet shows and stuff. And Grigsby would get in a little puppet voice, and they would just giggle like a couple of schoolgirls. It was I hilarious. Yeah, Jim. But, Jim's a very talented. Uh, does a lot of voices and uh, uh, great guy. Is he Both still, good guys. Where's Jim, Jim Moore? I think he's retired now. I haven't talked to him a couple of years, but uh, I believe he's retired now. He's out of the business. Well, What's the weirdest non-PA voice thing that you've had to do in your career? Ah, that's a good question. I uh, have you ever done like a you know voiceover for a movie or a character or a, you know a TV show or or a not animation anything, or anything? Or? No, not anything like that. But I've done some did some stuff for ESPN. During the basketball tournament a couple of years ago, oh, okay. they were featuring teams, and you know, I, that's I, Louisville cool. has got this great guy and this great guy, and then, then their guy would come in and they they banter back and forth about it, and I'd kind of set up this whole thing. It's was, it was kind of weird, but that's uh, pretty. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty strange. It was that's kind of, awesome. Kind of a fun gig, but uh, there's been uh, so many of us. It's kind of hard to think of one off the top of my head, but that one comes to mind. Now, take us through the, uh, a typical game day uh, for you. Like a Royals home a home game, obviously. Mm-hmm. What what's a typical game day like for you? What time do you get to the ballpark, and what all goes into your game day experience? Well, I leave the tavern about four, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. No, I uh, I get out there to the ballpark at seven o'clock game, seven fifteen game. I get out there five or so, and then uh, kind of set up, and we'll have a production meeting, and that'll last for fifteen twenty minutes. Uh, and that kind of that gets everybody set up. Park with cameramen going to be where they're supposed to be. We're announcing what we're supposed to do. When is this person going to bring this first pitch? Are they going to be down there at, uh, behind home plate at the right time? Buck so on the so LC, just, that that's right. Stuff, You're yeah. just kind of setting everything up for the game, and then we go eat. Yeah, and then uh, that's where I always usually run into you. <laughs> yeah, that is you. in the press box eating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. uh, we usually start pregame about an hour. You know, before yeah. we usually start our countdown to game time about six fifteen to six twenty twenty five right in there. And now is that earlier than you used to do when you first oh, started? Yeah. So you've got a lot more well, stuff going on. It's more of a show right? now because yeah. they started and and it used to be uh, well we'd start at seven oh five I think and so about it would be about six forty and there'd be a stack of you know scripts and be like just go there you go have at it and so you would just for twenty minutes you'd be like. Dun, 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 dun. This next one, next one, next one. Uh, now it's all kind of split up. Um, I'll read some, and then we've got our in-game MC or in-game host. Mm-hmm. In most cases, it's Danea. Danea, yeah. And, uh, you know, she'll do something on the field. She'll do a game or talk to somebody, interview somebody. And so it kind of breaks up that way, and then we uh, so we spread that out. It kind of makes it a little bit of an easier pace. And I like the Hall of Fame uh, segment Kurt. with Kurt. Kurt's awesome. Just unbelievable, yeah. And he's got it. He's got like four thousand words written on a three by five card, and it might just be like three highlights, and mm-hmm. he just he rattles it all off. Uh, but, you know, it's yeah. awesome. He's a good guy. And he does, and he does a good job with it. Yeah, he's a great too. guy. Yeah, absolutely. So it's about an hour, and then then it's game time. And, and then, now the last few years, I mean, the the roster has been the roster. You know, since two thousand eleven to last year, Stockis, Hosmer, mm-hmm. Gordon. Kane, you know, all these guys. <laughs> this year, man, you you got a whole different set of, yeah, set yeah. of This is a whole other list of wiener dogs. 
So you you know you might uh, might spend an extra five or ten minutes yeah. uh, going through those names yeah. and uh, right. yeah. uh, getting them right. Well, of course you had Fan Fest, so you got to know yeah. a lot of those guys then. But I mean, this is this is a pretty turned over forty man roster. It really is. It, it really is. And, um, and Mondesi changed. Yeah, I was just going to ask you: Have you practiced Mondesi's new first name? Ad Alberto. Ad Alberto. No, awesome. Yeah. So. You know, the next time we do Todd's uh, commercial read, I'm going to have you do it. I'll do it. You, you guys Absolutely. are friends. Yeah. The docile tones of Mike McCartney would fit in well with that. Get Todd to record this, and he can put it on a any radio station. I bet he will. Perfect. And then, uh, in fact, go ahead and read that for us now, Mike. If you Myers want. Funeral Chapel Northland is located in historic downtown Parkville. See how I kind of pause there? That's, and that's a good pause. It's one of the only family-owned and operated funeral homes in the Northland area. Myers Funeral Chapel is dedicated to excellence and service with the utmost integrity. The chapel has been completely renovated to create an open concept funeral home. For more information, call eight one six. No, for more information, call Todd at eight one six seven four one zero two five one, or check out their website at myersfuneralchapel.com. Awesome, that's fantastic. In fact, and stop in for a Milky Way <laughs> at the Philip sixty six at Armor in my thirty five. <laughs> and a seven up too. And a seven, seven up too. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, check in, hit like or comment, because we're going to play some fantastic Royals trivia with fantastic prizes. You know, we have uh, Three Dog Night tickets. We've got tickets. What else do we have? we got tickets. This I think Mike concert. and I are just going to sing Jeremiah was yeah. a bullfrog here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We've, got, we've got uh, Under the Street Lap tickets. What else have we got? We've got tanning again from our man Vic Perrin. Uh, and this T-shirt shows that, that Chris and I, we need to get down and do some tanning because we've, we've got our winter skin color going on. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's, I need to get outside, man. <laughs> it's been rough. Yeah, adjust the hue on your set. The hue is pretty bad, yeah. We need to work on these lights a little bit. So now, uh, do, you, do you ever get to hang with the players? Uh, not during, no. Uh, I, and, you know, I get there at 5 o'clock and they're busy. They're, they're doing yeah. their thing and I don't, you know, how many times you... How many times can you ask a uh, guy what is, how to say his name, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's really not, uh, and I got stuff to do too, you know? Yeah. So, and, yeah. Now, but just over the course, you you, you meet some, and you particularly after, people, right. you run into them, you, you know, and you meet them and, uh, at certain events, you, you tend to meet them and get to know them better after they've retired and they're still kind of, you, see, you, you meet them and then you get to know them a lot better. And, um, but during the course of the season, while they're active, I usually not. What about the blue crew? You know, hang with them. I mean, Mike, is that what they call the girls? Is the blue crew? The K crew. K crew. Okay, K crew. Do I get to hang? No, they get to hang with. Me. No, that's okay. what. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Do you ever put the yeah, skirt they, on every once in a while? No, I don't put it. <laughs> not as far. Hey, as, not as far as you know. Well, I saw him. I, you, we, we have to ask the tough questions. Okay, I did show, it one time. <laughs> I did it one time, and you get. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Um, yeah. But they're a good bunch, and uh, uh, but the, yeah, they're kind of in. A, we work in the same general area. So some of those uh, young ladies become friends of mine and lovely lifelong friends because they're just super cool people. And uh, you know, so many of them now, we've had Caker, and I think this will be our 10th year. Uh, a lot of them now are going on. They've got two or three children, and you know, married for so long, and so it's kind of nice Sapanero to see. is just a friend of ours. Says, oh, yeah, 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 she's yeah, she's got two kids now. It's the nurse. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you ever get confused, you ever mistaken for Rex Hudler walking Do walking I? in from the parking lot? No, no walking yeah, out of the parking lot, <laughs> carry around a baseball, no, look I, weird, uh -uh. <laughs> look crazy, <laughs> look weird. <laughs> He's a good guy. Rex is a, such a wonderful man, and I, um, he uh, uh, he uh, over the course of the last several months has had opportunities to kind of lift his buddy Mike up, and it uh, it's been really appreciated. And That's so awesome. Rex is a good. I mean, it's, it's a that production team. It's a mm -hmm. that whole floor really is. It's a it's a family. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. even the you know the writers and everybody kind of in that dining room area. Yeah. It's it's you know you guys see each other every day, and it's mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that uh, you know you guys keep in touch uh, after mm -hmm. after the season's sure, over. That's yeah, that's great. Cool. Yeah. Hey, can we take a minute and zoom in on your championship arrangement yeah. here, Mike? Let's let uh, Cindy, if you could bring in the camera really tight. This Look. one here is the 2014. That's the uh, league championship. Uh, ring and then of course that's the World Series ring and it's just been awesome that the the team uh, it's very you know, allowed for me to have one took these, that took, yeah, yeah they really did fantastic. and it's uh, boy there's a lot of pride in these things and oh I would think the uh, t you know you earn them you, you, uh, you 
really earn a World Series or a championship ring. Well, know? and it's, I mean, for, for guys like you, 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 you not just earn them that year, but you earn them in, you know, when you're having to see your 19th Brian Anderson appearance in 2004. <laughs> you know, you, you deserve I mean, you that, gotta, my friend. you got to <laughs> suck through that. And you're, you're like, oh, my God. It's, as you know, I recall, 2004 was a rough year. 11 was 04 a rough year? You know, 04 was actually, was, yeah, 03 was the good year. And 04 was, was started with 05, 06. 06 was probably the, that was difficult. I mean, oh, four, by the way, 04, 05, and 06 were the three years that I had season tickets. So uh, well, we it's probably me. Um, I, I will take full responsibility for that. But uh, well, I think we could blame a lot of other people besides you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it wouldn't be as much fun. Yeah, it wouldn't be as much fun. <laughs> yeah. much fun yeah. But now, when UMKC wins a championship, will you get one of their rings? I would try. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. Well, I hope they. Know. I hope they. I'd love to see it. How yeah. did they do this year? They did all. You know, not they, they had a young team. Yeah, very young team, and um, uh, probably your inside presence is not very good, and. Uh, so there was a little bit rough for t sometimes, and but at the end of the year, uh, they they won a couple of pretty good games there, and it looks like the, so they kind of went on an upswing. So I'm kind of looking forward to the to the WAC championship tournament. And they kind of basically overhauled everybody. Was it yeah. last year or the year before? Well, last Did year they, no, the last year yeah. five starters. We had five starters. They flipped everything. Or five over. seniors starters. So it was this year that we kind of flipped everything. And, yeah. Um, and they've got some pretty exciting guys on the team and. Uh, Quick and they just, they just need to play together and mm -hmm. learn to play together. And Kareem is a, just a great coach and a wonderful guy. And um, I think the Ruse are lucky to have him. And yeah. Hey, now you said you're doing the Big 12. Are you doing that whole Big 12 tournament or just select games? You know, um, we used two announcers during this event. Mark Fitzgerald, who's done PA announcing for, the, he's going back to the Big 8. Mm -hmm. And Fitz is, um, so he does the game announcing when the game's. Fouls and that type mm -hmm. of thing, and then with the timeouts and in between, I do like updates from uh, other games around the country, uh, just any kind of PA reads that they would need to have done, any contests that they uh, they don't have a host for, anything like that. So that way, Fitz kind of gets an opportunity to kind of rest yeah. a little bit, yeah. not have to always be going. So that's okay. great. Mike, do you want to read Beth Ann's ad right now? Uh, yeah. She would she would be thrilled to have had a celebrity read her ad for her. Beth Ann, you ready? I'm ready. Beth Ann's boutique is a fabulous boutique filled with. Fa I, I thought you. Look how fabulous it is. It's a it is fabulous a boutique right. filled with fashions, handbags, and accessories that show off your fun, confidence, faith, and joy. Beth Ann's boutique and fabulous event space is located at 235 Main Street, right here in the heart of Platte City, Missouri. 816 895 2288. Look for Beth Ann. Uh, look for Beth Ann's online at BethAnnsBoutique.com. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also schedule your own personalized shopping experience to treat yourself and a couple of your closest gal pals. I like that yeah. gal pals. I we need to use that in more. Gal pals. I, I need to use that. that in more commercial. Let's get the cake out there. Yeah, absolutely. Or employees to a private shopping experience, either at the Main Street Boutique, or she'll bring the Mobile Pink Boutique to you. Absolutely. Is that right? And guys, the new men's section. Yeah, she has a the the mobile pink boutique. We have some experience with that. We just about hijacked it one night. Remember that, Chris? We were out in front of her store, and we tried to jump in that thing and drive off. I mean, one of many times I've almost been arrested yeah. up here when I come up here on Thursday. So. <laughs> yes, yes. And another Absolutely. little plug after the show. Hey, we're going to take Mike to the pool hall after the show. So. If, you don't go to Platte City without going to the pool. You gotta go yeah. to the pool hall. So, and, and free selfies tonight. Anybody drops by and wants a selfie with Mike McCartney, Royals PA announcer? Come on by and see us at the pool hall when this show is over. It is what Thursday night. It's about six thirty now. We'll probably hit the pool hall at seven ish. So you guys got time to plan, you know, and, and, and change into your finest. Head down to the pool hall and join us. And maybe that guy who got the D Y in the lawnmower will be there. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it's, so. he's probably still there from, you know, right when he got out. From, from 20 years ago. Yeah. All right, one, one more, another Royals question for you. Um, do, June, July, do you think that they'll finally lose a game then? Because, I mean, they're, unde they're undefeated in really? the spring so far. They still haven't lost, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I think we can easily go two, three months, right? Oh, I think so, of course. Uh, that's, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting year, isn't it? You know, it's, um, yeah. you know, it, it's... In a lot of ways, I'm kind of looking forward to that, you know? I mean, 
I mean, uh, as, in what, as, way, it, it, what ways are it, those? Well, you get to go out to the stadium. You won't have to fight the crowds. Uh, for one thing, <laughs> there's still going to be crowds. Okay, you won't have to fight as many folks for a good seat. Uh, but you know, it'll just be interesting to see the uh, the younger guys kind of kind of go. I mean, when, I might not say that in uh, July when we've uh, you know when the losses are racking up. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I get I get that. When when they when all the guys came up in 2010 and 2011 from you know then Wichita and North, Northwest Arkansas and Omaha, you knew all their names. You kind of they came up as a group. Yeah. Nobody knows nothing about nobody yeah. right now. Well, and the, interesting. And, and, remember that, interesting. that those that group had won championships all the way up mm -hmm. the line. I mean, uh, yeah, the Wichita, then Northwest Arkansas. Yep. Even before that, uh, maybe Lexington or Burlington, Bur maybe yeah, Burlington, Burlington, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and Northwest Arkansas, and then Omaha, and uh, Omaha two years in a row. And I think if I mean I think if they can get, they can fix Mondesi Swing and Dozier can kind of find his place in the lineup, it's be a serviceable lineup. I oh, think they be. just you know yeah. and, and any given any given day you're yeah. you know you're win. What is it? Win a third, lose a third, yeah, and then right. the other third you're in yeah, the middle. So. Do. Yeah, so um, uh, you know, and it's it's hard to make predictions because I was the guy who predicted the Twins would. You know, I would. I said last May, I said I'll eat my hat if the Twins make the play. I've, eat, I've eat, not eaten my hat yet, but I'm ready to. Yeah, yeah. No, you got a hat back there. Yeah, kind of so, so, uh, uh, needs, needs ketchup. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, so you just you got to go play them all, right? Yep. All right. See what happens and. October. So. But that's a, that's a team that nobody knew anything about last year, yeah. and they they caught fire yeah. and, and, and rode it all the way. Yeah. It stayed strong. So, yeah. so. But will Dozier even start the team uh, start the season in the big leagues now that they've acquired Duda? Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, uh, and when Duda comes up to bat, will you be tempted to pronounce it Duda? Everybody kind of says it, but no, I don't know. Uh -uh, I won't be tempted. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be just Lucas and, Duda. And, and would yeah. you duck when he throws home? Yeah, that's, oh that's a big one. There you go. <laughs> Ivan Foley, he's here all week. Ooh, all week long. No extra. He's a royal now. you got to... Yeah, 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 we're, we're, we're all He's a great thrower. Yeah, 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 every throw good. to home will be if perfect. If you can't Duda. beat him, join him. That's right. You know, they he Gregorian is a great writer, wrote a nice article today if you get a chance to read it in the Kansas City paper about that whole thing about what happened about him being with the team now. So it's an interesting, uh, interesting little piece there. Yeah. Yeah. As long as we don't sign uh, Jose Bautista, I think we'll be fine. I think I could remain a Royals fan up and until <laughs> that day that we signed Bautista and then then it, it's all it's all off, so Yeah, so who do you think uh, who's gonna be our starters, Chris? Let's talk about this, Chris and Mike. Well, right, let's go around the horn. Let's Obviously, do the easy stuff. Okay. So Salvi's behind the plate. Right. Gordo's in left. Well, Gordo might be in center. I mean, they've been playing him a little bit in center. Right. Escobar's at short. Pass. <laughs> the rest. Yeah. Will, uh, Montesi be, you know, Whittle play second. Whittle play second. Montesi will kind of float between the middle. Yeah. They had Whit playing at first today for some reason. Oh, I they did. They're just about. trying to. Yeah, yeah, just, I, mean, I mean, he's a utility guy. Yeah, so it's spring training. Let's. Um, Duda is at, Duda's Duda's at first. Uh, uh, um, at third base, we've got uh, Cologne, not Cologne, but uh, Cuthbert, uh, Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Yeah. And then center and center and right, um, Orlando maybe. Solaire. Solaire. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Solaire. Yeah. Solaire might be DH. Bonnie, Foss, yeah. is Bonnie, Bonnie still Foss, with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's still, still with us. Yeah. So. So, you know, he's got some pop in his okay, back. So, there's nothing wrong with him, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you right I'll now. Like he's, yeah, he's, he's tough, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, you know, we'll see who they wheel out there on March uh, yeah. uh, 29th. I think, I think pitching might be the... Might be the hold-up. Might, might be, be the soft spot. I'm yeah. not sure I can name three pitchers on the staff right <laughs> Especially now. Especially in the other bullpen. Than, other than Kennedy. Yeah. Which is another story. Yeah. Like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... it, But again, that, that gives the guys who have been... Not with mm -hmm. the spotlight, a chance to be in the spotlight, and, right. and time and time again, folks have come out of nowhere. Who's the, who's a the guy that that hit like twelve home runs in the first two months of the year last year? Some rookie, and so you know, and, and it it happens. It absolutely happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, one more time, check in or hit like. You know, we're gonna play trivia here in just a minute, so it'll be a good time to check in if you haven't yet. Uh, Chris.
Chris is feeling like he's going to nail five out of five questions tonight. Well, yeah, so I am? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's well Royals are your thing, man. I mean, this is right up your alley tonight. So, 2012 All-Star Game, 2014 Playoff Run, 2015 World Series Run. Uh, can you put... Can you put a favorite moment on on any of that run, or 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 is it something outside of it, or just did all kind of that four years all kind of blended together? Yeah, in a way, you know, all kind of. I mean, do, first of all, the All Star Game was uh, was an experience because we'd never had that up until then. Uh, we had never. I don't think we were ever on Sunday Night Baseball yeah. or something. So to to. Be there and have all that kind of fanfare and all that going on was uh, was fun. I mm -hmm. mean, it was it was, it was a was lot right of time. fun, and it, it was five days of just. I mean, I was there at eight in the morning. You had to be there for production meetings. With you know, one day it'd be MLB Network, the next day it'd be uh, ESPN, ESPN, yeah. and then Fox the next day, and you know, um, um, up there standing in the girl next to Joe Buck, you know, there he is, right there. That's <laughs> awesome. right there. So, uh, hey, I, that and that was your chance. It, that it was, was your my, chance to chance for pop him in the back of the no, head no, and no, say, no, 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 no. Buck, <laughs> Buck's all right. Buck's good <laughs> people. Good dude, he's all right. So, but, you know, it's kind of just, you just, everybody's there. Everybody is there. And then, uh, and then it becomes, it's also a Major League Baseball production. It doesn't become a Royals production at that point. Um, it's Major League Baseball they call the shots. You had said day. it was down to the seconds. Uh, the everything seconds was everything. Was everything. And they had a... Um, and the funny thing was is they had, a, for the All-Star game, the, the producer for Fox was assigned to basically me. At one point, Joe Buck talks, 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 and then you... Enter, he, or maybe this was, uh, this was the World Series. I'll take this back. This was the 2014 World Series. We had a producer that was assigned to me. He was... New Jersey, New York, just stereotypical New Jersey, New York guy. His job was their producer from the television booth would go to him and say, "Okay, Joe's going to introduce you, or Joe is my." Then he would tap me on the shoulder, and that's when I announced the players. Well, this guy was so loud. Okay, and he'd be, he'd be, he was standing behind me. And he would lean over and scream in my ear because he was just kind of New York loud, you know. And, so he was driving me up, up the wall. And finally, I was like, "Okay, I mean, you don't have to scream at me, man." You know, so it was. Uh, it it's was Kansas City, man. Yeah, Nobody yeah, yells at yeah. anybody for anything. And he was scaring me. He was, scaring. <laughs> he was yelling at me, scaring at me, and I'm like, "I got to. I'm about to go on Fox, yeah, television, and announce the lineups, and this guy's yelling at me. <laughs> what the hell's going on here?" That's awesome. All right, do we have some contestants ready? Staff oh, members, boy. okay. Oh, Mark! Mark's listen. Mark Van Bale is. Uh, Mark is the the social media guy for the city of Kansas City. Is he? Right. Yes, he is. He's an airport too. He's an avid runner. Okay. And right. uh, an sob. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, Mark, well. Mark's good people. So yeah. that's that's good. All Mark, right. we're playing for you. Playing what, for what, you, what, Mark. What, what is he playing for? Uh, Mark, let's give Mark a chance to win three dog three dog night tickets. Right. Is that that's, Argosy? Yeah, Maristar. Maristar. Adam Maristar. Oh, so yeah, the wrong person. Person. Mm, sorry. Maristar! <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie! For our good friends at Maristar. Okay, guys, so we've got five Royals questions coming at you. Here's the first one. I went way back in time because I know you guys are so good that I had to go. I mean, we're so old. Far old, back. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Think 1969, okay? Lou Pinella was on the roster for the Royals their first season in 1969. He started 126 games in left field. What was Lou's salary that season? I'm going to give you multiple choice on this. Okay. okay. He was a rookie of the year last that year. Uh -huh. A ten thousand dollars. B fifty thousand dollars. C one hundred thousand dollars. Or D one hundred fifty thousand dollars. What was the salary for Luke Nell in rookie is Free free agent. Ten thousand. I think it might have been. Wow. Yeah, let's let's go low. Yeah, Boom! Ten thousand yeah. dollars for Lou Pinella yeah. in nineteen sixty nine. And look, Mark is going to see three dog night. Mark, congratulations, Mark! You can, you're a winner, buddy. You can thank Chris and Mike for their fine yeah, thank, knowledge. Thank Mike. I didn't do nothing. So, <laughs> uh, Clint Anderson. Clint. All right, let's, let's All right buddy. Let's find another question. Uh, again, nineteen sixty nine. 
I was negative three years old. What well, the so hell? was Mike. Okay, so was Mike. Mike. No. Ah! <laughs> I was <laughs> driving by then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the prize! Let's oh, figure, yeah, out, let's the figure prize. out the prize. I was not. Um, Clint Anderson. He sounds like a guy who would like to see under the street lamp at American. Oh, it's Star. a good oh, show. It's a good that. show. That's the kind of the Jersey Boys. It's the Jersey that. Boys, right? The the, yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, is it? Oh, but that our, would be wonderful. Our yeah, guy yeah. in the studio audience, Gary Pixler, will be there that night. Yep. So you got that going for you, Clint. Are you yep. going to give up your Eagles tickets for for a winner? No, yeah. no, okay. Thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Nineteen sixty-nine again. This player had the game-winning hit in the Royals' first ever game on April 8, 1969. I'll recognize when I hear it. A. Lou Piniella. B. Joe Keough. C. Ed Kirkpatrick. Or D. Jerry Adair. I think it's Keough. I think it's Keough. Keough yeah. Adair. Joe Keough. Let's go with Joe Keough. Joe Keough. Two for two. Joe Keough. Joe Clint. Keough, yeah. Clint. That's that's one of those like trivia questions that I mean I, you would never know otherwise, but you've heard it four or five or right. six times. Right. And that was an extra now, inning so. game too. Extra inning game. Okay, that's, uh, that's Kurt Nelson. Thank Kurt Nelson. That's probably right. for just droning that into our heads <laughs> without us, you know, <laughs> even knowing. Pierre Burris. Pierre uh, Burris. They're listening to us in Paris. Awesome. Wee right. wee. Oui, oui. Pierre. Pierre um, we have. Do you know Pierre by the way? Uh, would Pierre prefer a uh, a tanning session or perhaps okay? Then we have a shower floss device. This, we've given away a lot of these. These are courtesy. I need, courtesy. I need to collect my mom's from. <laughs> yeah, we got you. We've got prizes downstairs. So anytime you guys win a prize, you need to come pick these up. They're on the front desk, just waiting for you. Mike, uh, they sell a they sell an alternate version well, of that. Is, at, uh, this is for your teeth. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was a, I thought it was a clean your shower. <laughs> Well, you could, this I suppose you could use it for that. And they sell an alternate version of that at facilities, <laughs> which is a whole different Ooh. story altogether. So Ooh. please do not clean your shower. Clean your shower. It shower looks like a very versatile. Yeah. If you do clean your shower, just don't clean your <laughs> yeah, teeth just, right afterwards. Yeah, yeah, you don't don't want to get confused. They sell a different one to clean that after yes. you clean your shower so that you can clean your teeth. Please have your door shut when using this prize. <laughs> this, this is uh, <laughs> Courtesy of Platte Valley Dental Care. They're great people, Platte Valley. Oh, okay. love those folks. They're a big supporter of the show. All right, here we go. Question number three. First game ever played at Royal Stadium was April 10, 1973. Who did the Royals defeat in that first game? Do you need the choices or you just want to nail it? Well, I mean, I want to... Oh, you want, I want the, want the choices? I want to confer with Mike. Oakland A's or B, Texas Rangers? C, the Yankees? Or D, Cleveland Indians. Texas. Oh, yeah, Texas Rangers. I think it was Texas. Mm -hmm. Boom, these guys are three for three, Texas Rangers. Now, a couple things about that year. That year almost didn't happen because there was a, a union strike in Kansas City the year before, and they were behind. 71 72, they had some sort of strike. Mm -hmm. And they were behind on construction, but they had to get it ready for 73 because they had the All-Star game that year. Right. Yeah. And uh, a member of the uh, construction crew is a man by the name of Frank White. And also, Nolan Ryan's first no-hitter was that season. I don't think it was that game. No, no, no. But it was early in the season, and that was Nolan Ryan's first no-hitter. Yeah, originally, the stadium was we were supposed to open in 72. Yeah. And so and it was supposed to be uh, Royal Stadium would open, then Arrowhead would open that fall, but mm -hmm. it went the opposite way. Yeah. So that worked, yeah. They also had a bunch of rain, I think, that delayed them, too. I think I read so. Hmm. This is the kind of crap that fills my brain. I it's, like it. It's not good, so. I like it. If you well, say Texas so, Rangers. I don't know. <laughs> Texas Rangers. <laughs> what? All right, we are ready. Who did we say? Jason Shanks. Jason Shanks. Jason, Jason. Jason. Oh, no, Shanks Jason. for watching, Jason. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. We're gonna have. Uh, we're playing for uh, a premier sunless spray tan at Total Tan. Our friend Vic Perrin. Mike's, Total tan. Mike's had that done. Uh, Just on the backside, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. Yep. <laughs> yeah. money. For hey, you always pay around. extra for the undercoat. <laughs> no, that's right. what I'm saying. You know, yeah. always the undercoat pay extra for the undercoat. You got to take care of the undercarriage. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, uh, howdy. Where is, it, where is that? Uh, uh, never mind. I'll be over at the pool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mike McCartney, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for him. All right. This is question number four. Playing for Jason Shanks. There have been two All-Star games played at Royal Stadium, now the K. National League has won both. 
The combined score of those two games is what, you guys? I'm going to read you some choices. Obviously, the National League won both. All right, the combined score 15 to 1, B, 8 to 0, C, 10 to 9, or D, 12 to 5. Okay, well, it was 12 to 7. 7 nothing. 7 nothing. And I know we only got one. What was it? Was there one with a one? Uh, 15 to one. It's the top one. 15 to one. Let's go 15 to one. You guys nailed it again. Four for four. 15 to one. Jason Shanks is getting a spray tan from Vic. Did you know that there were two, you guys probably know this, there were two All-Star games a year until mm -hmm. like the mid-70s, and there was a second All-Star game the year that it was at, at Royal Stadium. Well, the second All-Star in 1960. When it was that's 1960, right. 60, that's when right. it was yeah, held yeah. at Municipal Stadium. Yeah, that's so they right. Did, yeah. They did two. Yeah, yeah, the second one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Where was, uh, where was the second one held that year in 1960? No, I want to say it was in New York. I have no idea. I have no clue. Stacy! I thought it was Washington. Stacy Apple. I, is it Apple or Apple? I, I, Appel, I've right? seen Appel. I've seen her on, she's on the She's on the interweb. She's that, on the internet. That's how Stacey, I would announce it. If it it's A-P-P-E-L, Stacy. Stacy, hi Stacy. We're playing for Stacy. Uh, hello, Internet. Let's see if we can keep this perfect record going, you guys. We're playing uh, Stacy. We we hope you like to tan because you're gonna get two weeks in any UV bed uh, down at Vic's. That's not with Vic. That's at Vic's. Two weeks in one of his UV beds, and they they make sure to. Uh, yeah, you wipe those go down after I, I get out. <laughs> yeah. No, they yeah. make sure to destroy them after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they go ahead and now, we are going to do a show, again, from, from Vix, and he wants to spray tan Chris, I think, during the show. A they're going to need, they're gonna need like, those film things well, that they have at NASCAR that and, they, they rip off the... And he will take care of your undercarriage. I've heard that. He'll spray that as well. You'll come out. Here, kids. <laughs> You'll come out just oh, looking I mean, bronze, yeah. Yeah. Extra for the end. bronze <laughs> all under is what you're going to be, Chris. I mean, question number five, playing for Stacey. That's a lot of spray, by the way. Yeah, I don't just, know. I bet. I bet Vic's talk about. I bet let's Vic talk to Vic no, before Vic we commit all that spray. <laughs> He's going to see what's going on. It's going to be a partial like, mix I for you. Can't. I don't. <laughs> you're not seeing it as well. I'm not saying. just. You know. All right. Here we go. On October 17, 1980, the first World Series game held in Kansas City featured the Royals against the Philadelphia Phillies. In his first at bat, this player hit a home run down the right field line. Who was that player? Do you want the choices? A. George Brett. B. Willie Akins. C. Hal McRae. Or D. Clint Hurdle. I'm gonna say it was Willie Mays Akins because he had just, that wasn't the game he had two home runs, was it? No, he had two home runs in game three. Okay. three. Right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But, I, but he had he had a bunch of home runs that series. That series. Do we, we need to, we need more we need more time. You probably need more time to think uh, about this one. <clears throat> can you let me know? Maybe through, you didn't hear my go, choices. Can you go through the choices okay. again? George Brett, <laughs> Willie Akins, Hal McCray, Clint. Down the right field line in his first at right, bat. Right field line, right field line. likely left handed batter. Yeah, so yeah, I think George. George. Well, I think George. It was George. Mm -hmm. it, was George. it was George. That's it. I didn't hear the right handed. Yeah, I didn't yeah, hear yeah, the right yeah. field so, line. So, I had to go back and hear good, it again. Good thing Stacy's going to win two weeks at the tanning bed. And you folks need to pick those up at the landmark office, 252 Main Street in downtown Platte City. And while you are promoting things, oh, by the way, guys, here's your, here's your landmark this week. You can call us, 858-0363, subscribe, ask for the Landmark Live special, and we'll take care of you, all right? I'm in this. Look at that. Yeah. Right there. Mike. Right there. Right there. We were going to get a picture, but we didn't want to. Mike didn't McCartney was people. released from the Platte County Way to <laughs> This is. <laughs> Hang on. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. That whoa, isn't that's what that's I was. Fake the news. Back page. Whoa, fake what's news. going on? Fake news. <laughs> that's that. That. There we go. There we go. Put that right on top. That's good stuff. Now let's read the commercials one more time. Let's do it. Okay, let's do, we start with Myers. And yeah, go ahead. Um, we got to do this in a really commercial-like way, so you know, very comfortable. And by the way, the set here is. <laughs> is it nice? You should have uh, seen it before we had a budget increase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, good thing it's not windy. Yeah. You know, right? <laughs> Yeah, we're not bringing this don't, to the tailgate. Don't this is, don't, just blow right I, I, I please, right don't lean on it too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> uh, 
Myers Funeral Chapel Northland is located in historic downtown Parkville. It is one of the only family-owned and operated funeral homes in the Northland area. Myers Funeral Chapel is dedicated to excellence and service with the utmost integrity. Who's writing a check to me for this? Is uh, Todd. Oh, Todd. Well, Todd. Okay. Yeah, Todd, 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 Todd well, thanks, Todd. Yeah. Todd DeMint down there, mm-hmm. Myers Funeral Chapel. The chapel has been completely renovated to create an open concept funeral home. For more information, call 816-741-0251 or check out the website, myersfuneralchapel.com slash Northland. There you go. Great people. God's a good man. And let's talk one more time about Beth Ann has a new men's section over at her store. I was checking it out today. And she needs to get some royal I feel like a on. new man. She's got hats. She's got T-shirts. Uh, Beth Ann, what else do you have over there in the men's section? We have wallets, sunglasses, hats, socks. Can yes. you guys stand up and model your shirts for us? All right. Let's do that. Hey, happy to. There you go. Oh, we're both, we're both modeled. In turn. Yeah. Oh, come on. There's nothing on the back side. I don't think we, yeah. I'm glad you turned. That's no that. problem. Ooh, that's I'll, enough I'll, of that. I'll, I'll tell you what. I mean, for what you people pay to be here, I'll do I'll, whatever you need. Uh, I'm feeling kind of hashtag me too right now. No. Yeah, I feel like an object. Um, <laughs> me too. I loved it. Yeah, that, Quite honestly. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I loved your modeling display. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. But anyway, yeah. Do we... Did you re- okay? Let's read Beth Ann's one more time. Beth Ann of Beth Ann's Boutique handpicks fashion and accessories for women sizes extra small to 3X, girls infant to size 12, and now gifts for men size small to 3X. Check out their T-shirts because you all deserve to strut your stuff and give your and give yourselves and those you love a gift as fabulous as you are and your gal pals. <laughs> Special promo, visit the boutique March 1st through 3rd with promo Landmark for 20% off your purchase. Beth Ann's Boutique, 235 Main Street in downtown Platte City, 816-895-2288. Very good, you guys. The important thing to remember there is ask for the Landmark Special. Now through Saturday, you get 20% off. Cindy's already taken advantage of that. She bought a, uh, bought a purse over there. And, uh, so did Chris. Yeah, Chris yeah, did too. No, it's very nice. It goes matches my eyes. It's very kind. Yeah, so, so. And if you if you order uh, the landmark special from the landmark, the paper, you get to you get to hear leads like this. Meet Mike McCartney. He's the Mike behind the mic. Boom. Is that what that says? That's what yeah. that says right there. You can't. Uh, I'm you can't get, this yeah, one. you yeah, can't, that's, that, you this can't get, I, this one's going up. I wrote that myself. Did you, did you, did you, you, did you, you, did you, you, did you really, you don't owe me that's anything. Pure, that's, that's good. That's nice. Uh, that's on me. This is a war. You can, you can, you should hang that in your man cave. Oh, just bring it to my, yeah, it's nice, Josh. Oh. Ruined my Beth Ann's Boutique. Yeah. Gal pal shirt. Yeah, well, Damn it. we're going to keep these, right, Beth Ann? Okay, we're keeping these t-shirts. Because I don't know, I think we, some we, members of the audience might want us to take them off. I don't I, know what's going on. This is going off the rails here. But Really? <laughs> Anybody in here, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. Uh, listen. <laughs> sorry. We're Little really no. sorry about this. This is... This it's usually this, will exact, be the, this will be the last landmark. It's usually it exactly be. how it goes. Probably but the honestly, last one with yeah. two sponsors. Okay. Okay. That's uh, probably right. <laughs> but Mike, a uh, little known fact, Mike McCartney actually lives in Platte County, lives at Platte Woods, right? That's right. Tell yeah. us about your experience at Platte Woods. I oh, I love Platte Woods. And, uh, I, um, I grew up in Overland Park and, and uh, grew up and uh, went to Shawnee Mission South and first wife lived out there, I got two great kids, and then we divorced, and then I met my wife, Pam, and she owned a house in Platte Woods, so it was just like, okay, that's an easy deal, it was renting, and she's, uh, recently she passed away, uh, so I stayed there, and stayed in the house, and plan on staying there, and uh, and just love it, and just uh, and just really enjoy the Northland, and... Uh, as long as you're close yeah. to a quick trip, I mean, you know, it's life's, life's good. Now, right? are you in A quick trip? I mean, I'm sorry. The Phillips 66, yeah, it Phillips tells, 66. You, it tells you the, the <laughs> Seven Up and the and the Milky Way bars or whatever. Right? Now, are you in the city limits of Platte Woods? Yes. Okay, you should run for mayor down there, Mike. You no, man. Yeah. No, John Smedley's our mayor, and he is awesome. He's well, when he's done, mayor, no, he will never be done. <laughs> he's not. The, no, he's right. not going to let it go. Huh? No, John is. He's the best mayor that you could the town could ask for, and so I would never run against John because, you know, I could. John helps me out with stuff, man. He's a good dude, you know. No. I, well, he, uh, uh, I'll tell you a story here, and I've got this car. Uh, uh, 
we had a police chief down there, a guy by the name of Mike Benny. Mike passed away a year ago. He was a wonderful, wonderful guy. He's been the police chief of Platte Woods for 30 years or something like that. Well, I was at a city council meeting for some reason. Mike says, well, I'm going to get rid of one of my police cars. You know, I got a couple of Crown Victorias they wanted to get rid of. And I'm like, oh, old dad's going to buy this car. <laughs> so I cornered him afterwards and I said, sell that car to me. How much you want for it? He, was, he gave me a price. I go, perfect. I was, so I bought the old Platte Woods police car. I got it sitting in my driveway. Now, they, they <laughs> left, took all the you know, lights and yeah, stuff yeah, off and the siren and off and everything like that. But John helped me out with that and John's been a neighbor of mine forever and so was it is it a two tone black white no, color? It's no, a it's a just silver blue gray. silver, yeah. You know, it's got big all those bull push bars on the front of it. And that's probably a car that's pulled me over a couple of times. I'm glad you did. And that's the movie yeah, theater. A lot so. of revenues come out <laughs> of that car. Yeah. I guarantee that's all yeah. I'm saying. It's probably paid for so I drive three, four this, times on I earth. drive this big beast around yeah. Platte Woods and Platte County, and I'm just having a blast. People all man. slow down. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it's, it's official, man. I was, I'll tell you a good story. I'm coming up I-29 the other day, and, uh, and I'm going about a little over 70. I'm booking along up around 112th Street. And he, this guy's coming up behind me. He is going 95 miles an hour if he's going 10. And I see him, and I go, watch this. And he comes up right beside me, and I mean... He breaks, and he, <laughs> and he. I got out of the airport exit, but he he finally after I took the exit off, he went again. I thought, well, that was kind of fun. But, That's yeah. fantastic. That's I, good don't, stuff. I don't pull in behind people on purpose, and you know, right. and, yeah, I'm one of those guys. Get those eighty-eight glasses. <laughs> Talking about LCs, Platwood. You big LC fan? Oh. I, Am I a big LC's yeah. fan? I love it. I get you're getting one up here. Yeah. Right? yeah, I mean, there's no, there's the best hamburger there is, man. It's just so good. And, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, it's, yeah, it is yeah. gonna be great. And um, they do such a good job. And they had to fire there a couple of years ago, and it was shut down for quite a long time, nine months right. or so. And it was right. like, man, you got to go a long way to get a decent burger around here. Yeah. But LC's, if you've never been to LC's and you're Platte City people and they're building one up here, you are going to love that hamburger. Be great. Yeah. Chris and I are hoping to get them as an official sponsor at some point, just yeah. so we can so get free hamburgers. Take it out and train. Yeah, right. That's all yeah. I'm saying. It's all right. So we'll we'll work for them all. Wonderful. That's right. We we'll get our spray place. tan. We'll just head on. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> spray tan and <laughs> Don't forget about about that. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. They have a big deal special at LC. Big deal special. That's right. You get the big deal. It's a big deal. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. We thank you for tuning in. We thank Mike McCartney for joining us. We thank our sponsors, Beth Ann's, and we thank Todd down at Myers Funeral Chapel. We thank our live studio audience who've been able to control themselves. Gary Pixler, Jennifer, <laughs> Beth Ann, and the whole gang. Tell you what, guys, yeah, we're going to experiment with this uh, live studio audience. If you can behave yourself and you'd like to be a, a, a member of the audience in a future show, just Facebook us or email us. Let us know, and we will run you through a, str a very stringent and very, uh, you know, a kind of a screening process. Extreme Let your right through the front door. Come on, <laughs> in. extreme vetting. Yeah. Yeah. Very we'll extreme happen. vetting. Yeah. No show next week, but we'll be back on Wednesday night, March fourteenth. We're going to do a uh, NCAA bracket show where Chris and uh, one of the past winners of the uh, bracket contest that we do every year in the landmark will go over their bracket picks. I'll be here, but I'm not going to give my picks away because if you beat me in the contest, you get a free one-year landmark subscription, so you won't know my picks until Thursday morning at 11 at entry deadline. How about that? Do you have an early favorite? Uh, uh, I do. Do you? I do not. I do think, not. think Kansas will get past the second round? Yes, I do. The way they... <laughs> Yes, well, we're out of time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Bruner will be helping us uh, that show that night too with Dr. Lowry. Yeah, she knows she knows Doc from years back, I guess. Or, uh, okay, so we're we're gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. We'll have we'll try to have a <laughs> whiteboard. Say that when he talks about me. We're gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to not being. Good. We have a good bad <laughs> ratio, and we got to keep that in check. It's do we have a whiteboard that we can use that night? Uh, you guys could write your picks up. Now, I don't know if we have the budget for a whiteboard. We yeah, might we'll after figure, tonight. We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, okay. after tonight, I think we're good. All right. Well, guys, we'll see you on March 14th. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time. Take care. <laughs>